Welcome back to the railroad, everyone. Part two, today's video is all about wiring. First, we remove the tank that's covering the circuit board. Next, we will remove the wires on the Bachmann circuit board. Keeping in mind that it is a bird's nest of wiring from Bachmann, so we label everything. All right, now we get into the engine with its tender, attached tender. And of course, we're gonna be using the crane engineer from Revolution and uh, <laughs> some of the associated wires. Okay, uh, one more protection, keep the bears away. Let's remove the uh, water spout and then just lift this handle out of the way. There will also be a spot in here for the push button to, to set the train engineer and there will be a switch for the volume up and down on the Phoenix soundboard and the uh, jack for changing the sounds on the Phoenix soundboard. So we'll have three items in, the, in here. All right, now that we've got these clear, let's take this rear bin off. Now these are going to be the same size. No, they're not. They're a little larger than what the uh, other tender is. Now, to do this safely, rotate the engine. so you can see what we're doing. Okay, like the other one, lift the rear. It's a little tighter on here because there are a lot of, a lot of electronics. And it actually popped up out, and then we just take that whole unit out. It's not attached to anything. So here's our circuit board that we're gonna be getting rid of. And the other video from TSG Dan's Models Battery Conversion Part 1 and 2 has all the information for you on which wires are which. Now I've already made from that video, I've already made a layout of which of these wires does what. If you are going to do this type of conversion, I would recommend that you draft a wiring diagram of your own. And of course, some of these we won't be needing, but most of these and these we will need to connect. Uh, and as we remove these wires, we'll tag them together and label what they are. So we'll be using a lot of blue tape. And as that is kind of boring, uh, we'll just cut here. I'll be unsoldering some of these. Actually, maybe I'll just cut most of them because we do have a lot of spare wire. Easier than unsoldering because we don't really care about this board anymore. It will not be used. So well, let's get to this. Well, we've gotten the board out of here now and you can see everything's marked that I'm going to be keeping. The ones I will not keep are these two blue wires, which I'm not really sure what they were. They were just tucked underneath the board, not connected to anything. We'll see, I'll trace them. And then these wires all go up to the switchboard up here in the boiler. So the switchboard is not used anymore. My switches are all on the tender and each of the two tenders. The tender here will have a couple and the tender back here will have those for the battery power. So we'll be pulling the uh, wires, this wire loom through and getting rid of it. Then we have the train engineer hooked up here, the Revolution train engineer. Engineer. We only use the blue and green wires, which are your bell and your whistle. They will go into the P9 board here, and the chuff will be coming directly from power. So I don't have a chuff controller or anything, which is nice. Those things are a mess. Uh, I'm not sure if the battery pack is still any good. We will test it and see. We'll be back in a bit when we get some of this hooked up. Well, here we are back at the uh, three truck Shea and we're getting a little closer. I've been doing a little programming now. Last time you saw it, we still had the board in and wired. I went ahead and clipped all the wires so that I'd have those wires to work with. And each pair of wires that I clip, I would mark as to what they were. I had tags on all of these. Since then, I've removed some of the tags of as I've connected them to the various boards. And then, of course, I just removed this and I removed the stand that was sitting here because we won't need either of those. And then from the boiler, I pulled out the switches because we'll never use these switches. I have my switches back here. And of course, that wire string that was here, you just pull that straight out. You have to be careful that it doesn't catch on anything. And then I've actually used some of the wires here to help connect some of my wires here without having everything stretched 
to the limit, very short. So I've got that. And of course, the last thing I did was I took out the smoke unit. And yeah, because it's so tight in there, I actually broke it, but I'll never use these anyway. So that's just scrap metal. That being said, I have, like you saw, a uh, Revolution train engineer receiver, which had the light systems on it. Now, interesting thing with this engine, I think this was about a 2010 or 11 engine, if I remember reading the instructions right. Uh, the headlight, tail light, uh, firebox, and ash pan are all LEDs. However, the interior cab light is uh, the old 20 volt, whatever it is, incandescent light. So I had to be careful when wiring those up. I've got the forward and reverse circuits here wired up to the Revolution. Now the soundboard is a Phoenix PB9. I uh, had a little bit of trouble getting that to chuff until I remembered that the speed is what controls the chuff. So as it sets, I turn the main power on. Right now it's in the charge position. Turn that on. Now, my battery pack here is an old one. I don't know how well it's gonna last. However, when I do bring it up to like 10 miles an hour, it will engage the sounds normally. There it goes. Now, keep in mind, these engines never move that fast. These are slow geared engines to get you up and down mountains. When you see these things running at 30, 40 miles an hour on uh, somebody's layout, that's way too fast. These things crawl. And then the battery, the battery does carry the sound a little longer. And then it finally shuts down because the battery is probably almost dead. So, now it comes time to pack everything and get it all back in. I will leave, everything will be secured inside of the tender. The Revolution Train Engineer board will go on one side, the Phoenix sound board will go on the other side, and then it'll all just set back in place. So, let's get busy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let's go run some trains.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the build of our uh, three truck Shea with sound and RC. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you down the rails and God bless.